G'day. Uh, got another box to open, and I only just opened the last two. And I have my uh, my middle child here to help me, who is a cheeky monkey. Got some cool stuff in here. Um, well, at least I hope it's in here. One of the tools that I need to progress my work shelter workshop. Um, but anyway, let's get cracking. Oh, oh, oh. So, what do we start with first? We start with the loose chisels. You reckon? Yeah. You want to start with that? Yeah. Okay. We're going to open up another box. Why does everyone? What do you want me to do? Um, let's open up together. Okay. The two are one. There you go. <laughs> do you want a little one? You want a smaller yeah. one? That's a bit big for you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't push it towards yourself. You've got your hand here, you're pushing towards your hand. You want one out? Oh, yeah, it's a little gouge. Check this one out, though. Look at that. One. Daddy, next one what I want us to open is this one. More chisels. Wow, these people have to be packed a lot of chisels in here. Pluton! Oh! <laughs> Pluton! Just disappearing into the woodshed. Whoa, oh, he's gone! Just disappearing into the woodshed. Distraction there. No, no, so what's next? This one. Oh no, they are chisels. And also, they got little packets to go all over the sharp blade. Now that's well packed. Now for starters, they're in a canvas wrapped, then they're glad wrapped, awful lot of plastic, which I'm not so keen on. But they're tight, they don't move around in each other. And it, uh, with metal stuff, it doesn't really matter it's so much that they're in contact, but if they're free to move, that's when the damage occurs. Have a look at that. I'm just looking at these. It's a little bit rusty. It's very hard to get. Dad, you wanna have a look at It's a little bit rusty, Dad. Dad, I said it's a little bit rusty this yep. time. Yep, I'll have a look in just a sec, mate. It's a little bit nice. That is a nice little set. Gonna need a little bit of cleaning up because it's you know it looks like it's been well cared for, well used, and then left for a long time. Oh, oh, oh. oh vegetable knife. Another vegetable knife. Yeah. Might come in handy if I cut that. You are the one who looks at the. It needs a bit of work. Yeah. Right now, what can people tell me about this one? I'm not sure if it's been if it's meant to be like that or it's been grown ground by the user for a particular purpose or what? Odd. Yeah, it's a weird looking chisel. Whoa! Is this the next one? Is this the one we're opening now? Yeah. Wow, this one's heavy. Cool set of cranked gouges. Well have a look at this. Daddy, have a look at all of these. Yeah, let's have a closer look at them. Let's have a look at these. Mmm. It's a shirt. Well, what have we got here? What is it's, that's it's a, a measurer? Yeah, that's a measurer. And a and hammer measure. part. Yeah. Uh, and things what you use with maps. Yeah. I use for How do you know you use those with maps? Well, I've seen some on TV. You've seen them on TV? Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's a nice little, neat little divider. Yeah. It's quite nice too. Ooh. Quite sharp too. Mm. Now let's have look, look at this! I haven't seen one of those before. I have no idea what it is. Anyone? It looks like it's it's meant to sit on a stand somehow, and that's a thingy that slides up and down. And left and right, but I've got no idea what it's for. Geez, that's a good one. 
Have a look, look at, at this. Okay, Arlen. Yeah, we'll just put that one down, but look at this. See this dark colour, mate? See this yeah. dark colour here? Yeah. And see this dark line along the back? Yeah. Okay, that's a, that, what that is there is you've got stainless steel on the outside and you've got mild steel core. So that's a, that's a laminate. Like, it's a very modern blade. It's an industrial made blade. See that? I found another one of its kind. Beautiful, yeah, but you're still talking about a knife that's probably a hundred dollars or more in new. It would depend on the brand, of course, but you know, that's it's a very good knife. Now, look at all these different marking gauges. And I'm the one who's going to look at the knives. Stuff. You're looking at the knives, okay. And I have found some knives. Oh my god! This is a knife what I've seen on TV before. Is it? Yeah. Now why? Very is nice pretty... marking gauges here, Alan. Here we have a whole bunch of saw files. 75 mil feather file, single cut but very, very fine. Yeah, careful, mate. Can you please, can you please chop it, Dad? Yep. See, look, look. See how I'm going away from myself? Now, this could be sharp, so be careful. See that cardboard? I think that's covering the blade. That has this. Whoa! It's too scrape. Yes, it is. And what's it to scrape? Wood? Mm, sort of. Yeah. Bark. It's to scrape bark. It's a be it's a Japanese debarking tool. So that means we can get the, the, the cubby house and my shed built. Yep. And get all the bark off those logs. Yep. And it'll be even quicker. Mmm, cool. I think this might be a nut. I think this might be some more chisels. Molding plane blades. A set of them. No, these are these are gouges. This is for a carving set. And they are without their handles. And even two weird ones. Cool! All right, so we're done. So that's it for me, and that's it for you. Oh, you cheeky. <laughs> uh, a bunch of this will be up on eBay as soon as I can get it going. And um, uh, stay tuned for a video coming up very, very soon where I'll be using this. Do you want me to cut your hair with this? No. Right, stop it. <laughs> video coming very soon where I will not be cutting Alan's hair with this. We'll use it on onto the logs I've got to get the bark off so we can build that shed. Right, catch you guys later.